So this is our finished long wheelbase sprinter that has been converted into a camper for a family of five. So let's have a look inside. So this is one of my favourite bits of the van um, and it's the kitchen area. We opted for a massive amount of space, well relative to the van we got, uh, to cook with and we've got a double gas hob up the front, we've got our Reginox sink at the back with our pull out gap and we've got a nice big Dometic fridge freezer and there's a family of five. I think a lot of people will relate, it's always good to have a good big freezer. Now that runs off of 12 volt or when we've got electrical hookup it will automatically detect the 230 volt feed and it will transform it and then we can run it straight off of electrical hookup as well. Now we also opted for the induction hob. For when we've got an electrical hookup, just so that we're not utilising all our gas, and that just plugs straight into there. And if I'm honest, it's been an absolute godsend for when we have got electrical hookup. People ask me how does the sleeping situation work with a family of five so I'll give it a quick explanation and then I'll show you how it works so these two panels here are removable with these little thumb screws and once they are off under there is more bedding bases like these now these are foam with some memory foam on top so when these have been removed, there's some struts which are inside here, which go across and they just bolt into place. And then once they're bolted into place, the two sides themselves go on top of it. This bedding piece here will go down the middle to create a double pad for me and my wife. And then underneath, inside there is more space there will be more bedding pieces and that is big enough to sleep two of the kids under there which they enjoy as their own little den and then at the front this chair lifts up will fold forward and we have another two bedding pieces which go down here to create a single bed for another one of the kids and then in the morning we just pack this one up easily pop it underneath at the back and then we have that space free again. So, let's get around to doing it. So this is the rear of the van with the table area set up. It's just two aluminium legs on some Fiamma bases and then the table was just cut out of ply just to fit in nicely against there. So you've still got access to the drawers if you need to get anything out and such. So there's enough room here for us all to, all to sit around nicely. Either play a board game or 
have some snap or something. Also, we've got the TV just opposite, which does pull out and tilt. This is our toilet area of the van. So underneath here, which we do have a latch mechanism for. So this is where we store our dry robes as well for when we're traveling. So that is our toilet area. So this is just one of the porta potty cubes, which is held onto this pliable base using some 3D printed brackets. Now the reason it's on the plywood base and not on the floor is just because there's any leakages or anything like that, it'll go straight onto the wood as opposed to going onto the laminate. So the two front seats in the van are on a swivel base which frees up loads of room for sitting down. So let's say the kids are relaxing uh, on our bed and they're watching TV or something like that at night time. We just sit on these, have a glass of wine if the weather's rubbish outside. And yeah, just chill on there. So I'll swap them around. easy as that. Still got access to the storage underneath. Uh, we actually have our battery, well batteries, under this side and then we've just got free storage just for general bits and bobs under this side. In regards to storage in the van we've actually got more really than we probably need. Um, so we've got these two overhead cupboards here which we use for all the kitchen stuff so the pots pans and the dry goods things like that and then we have these two at the back which we use for the clothes these two which we also use for clothes and then this one here which we use for our wash stuff our washing line and things like that got more kitchen storage at the front of the van so this is just where we just keep our tupperware and bowls and plates and such. At the rear is also our gas lock off. And underneath, behind the rest of this clutter, is a gas locker. So that is vented to the underneath of the van so that if there was a leak, it would just pass through underneath. We also have an alarm fitted to detect any gas leaks. electrics are housed in these two cupboards here which is just at the front of the van above the rear seats and inside this one we have a Victron solar charge controller 600 watt inverter our isolator and a blue smart charger so we can charge your electrical hookup and in the rear one we have our consumer unit for the electrical hookup we also have our fuse boxes and our solar isolator. At the rear of the van we've actually got three sockets which we run off of this plug and when we are using electrical hookup we'll plug the plug into there so it's straight from the consumer unit and when we aren't we can use those sockets on the road by plugging them into the inverter just here. So as mentioned before we have three plug sockets running off of our inverter when it's plugged in and they are these two here which still require a bit of painting now, currently we've got one hooked up to our Wi-Fi router 
and we also have one hooked up to the TV. And inside the cupboard, we have one hooked up to the PlayStation. Now this is our rear storage area of the van, so in this area we keep our fresh water and dirty water rollers, so we use them to go and fill and transport back to the van, uh, keep our Kadak in here, down here is where our bottle jack is, the axle stands and basically other mechanical stuff we need, there's some oil in there as well, so that's just in case of anything. And then here, this is our water tank. Now I opted for a little bit of a different water tank um, because of the space that we had. So inside there is a 50 litre tank. Now after doing these clips down here, the tank will actually pull out. And what that allows me to do is pull it out, access the filling top and fill it up with water. The hoses won't get kinked thanks to these guides which just fold nicely. We actually have another water pump back here. And what this water pump does is it will take water from the fresh water roller and pump it straight into our water tank. Now as well as that what I also use it for is I'll put a hose attachment on there, put this bit into a water tank and I can then pump water out either for cleaning my bike or cleaning shoes or wetsuits or anything like that. So it just gives us a nice water feed at the rear of the van, just hose things off. So that is the finished tour, if anybody's got any questions or anything or want to see more then just leave a comment below. Um, you probably notice there are a little few bits and bobs that do need finishing off so there's a little bit of painting when I can be bothered to do it but anyway thank you for watching and give us a like and subscribe <laughs>